channel and let's get right into the news. Well, for today's first story, NBA 2K has found another way to embarrass themselves yet again because if you haven't played the game in a while and you pulled out your email, you saw this. Roll it. I've been waiting to say that. NBA 2K support sent out a survey. Why did you stop playing NBA 2K18? Select all that apply. And they had some check boxes, including but not exclusive to. I started playing NBA Live 18. It was too time consuming and costly to progress in my career, which by the way, is the one everybody should be voting for so they reduce microtransactions in the next game. I got bored with the game. I accomplished all my goals in the game. The game is too difficult. Who is having that problem with the game? Literally the easiest game I've played. Like, of all games I've played in my lifetime, this is the easiest one to get good at. Who's having that problem? I started playing Fortnite. At least they know that Fortnite is encroaching on their territory. Their numbers must have got so significantly low of online players that they're beginning to ask questions like, <laughs> and Fortnite has to be the logical answer. The game is free. The game is fun. And it costs, like, you don't have to pay my career and new player $50. None of that exists. Next one. I have not had the time or desire to play video games. 2K is now insinuating people, this is true, that 2K was such a horrible basketball game this year that people have not only lost interest in the game, but lost interest in video games as a whole. That is phenomenal and very, very difficult to accomplish. I started playing another game, which is almost like I started playing NBA Live 18 and I started playing Fortnite, but it's a little bit different. And I lost interest in the NBA season. <laughs> who, is, who is doing that? Like this, the, the playoffs is fantastic right now. I'm really enjoying myself, but it's not making me want to play 2K more or less. Y'all should have had another little box there. and It should have said something like, should we release new content next time? Like 100% of people would like click on that. Cause 2K, as great as Fortnite is, they still release new skins, game modes, weapons, and sometimes make additions to the map. Because they realize the significance of new content. 2K, if you're asking questions about why people have slowly stopped playing the game, let me answer them for you. The game is not fun to play if you don't keep it fun to play. You can't just drop it and expect the user base to go up. There has to be some sort of new content. So you don't even need the survey. You don't have to deal with the embarrassment. People are gonna put it on Twitter and Twitter did explode. I'm gonna give you the answer right now. You need new content, of course, microtransactions, big issue. You even said it right there, too time consuming and costly, which by the way, are two things that NBA 2K is. And of course, last but not least, the servers. Please improve the servers. Players should not be being deleted at launch of the game, okay? These are just points. These are just facts that I'm stating. So, I've been waiting for this. On our second story of the day, NBA 2K Dev finds out for the first time that people actually release, upload, and watch videos on the internet. He put out this tweet saying, exactly, when did watching someone else play video games become an enjoyable thing to do? This is amazing. Whoa, what? I, what have I been up to the past four years of my life? I've just been uploading videos for people to watch on the internet. It's crazy. Wow, it's, it's the biggest genre on YouTube. Twitch has been blowing up for a long time now. How did it just become enjoyable? Does, does a mainstream celebrity have to be involved in a stream? Which, by the way, this happened the day of the Ninja Drake stream. For you to enjoy some content on the internet? Let alone know that it exists? I saw Davis quote tweet this and he said, this is a 2K dev, guys. <laughs> the 2K developers are so detached from the community, from the content creators, from the people that are trying to support the game, that they don't even know that there's enjoyable content out there with the game that they're developing. Just to put it in context, when Ninja streams, not only do epic developers show up to not only Ninja stream, but streams of people across the Fortnite community, they often sponsor and help support create content for these streamers. They'll give them private keys to hop in lobbies and create different types of videos. Like they just had an, an event in Vegas like a few days ago. And if it wasn't for Epic allowing them to use private matchmaking to all get into a game with one another. But we don't have that support. 2K does like just recently in the same story, but almost in a different story. 
Ronnie2k put out a tweet saying, any good my team Twitch streams going on? <laughs> Everybody's like, what, Ronnie? Ronnie, you said you watch my team streams. Like, I mean, cool. I mean, it's great. Like, Ronnie's trying to support. I see what you're doing, my guy. But it's like, where has this been all this time? Like, just Epic Games got the username Ninja that someone else had. And then I don't know if they paid the person. They did something to get it. And then they gave it to Ninja. They didn't even ask for nothing. Just because they wanted him to have some like an OG username. Can you imagine if 2K gave Chris Smooth an incredibly OG username for absolutely no reason other than they want to support the community? I can't imagine it because nothing like that barely ever happens. But here we see a wild Wani 2K is making an effort and it's a fantastic thing to see. Now, a lot of guys were trolling and saying things like nobody streams my team anymore because my team is dead. But a lot of guys were leaving their my team in the replies here and Wani 2K went ahead and gave him I think it was a pink diamond Paul George or something like that. See this in your chat, but go to your rewards queue. And he was going out and just giving all kinds of players to different people. It was a fantastic scene. All right, in the next story of the day, NBA Playgrounds 2 was announced. So a few days ago, or it was like four or five days ago, I dropped a video talking about the NBA street genre coming back. And I referenced how NBA 2, I mean NBA Playgrounds had so much success in early 2017. And literally the day I was gonna drop the video, I found out that Playgrounds 2 was announced, which by the way is a weird announcement because I don't feel like they needed a Playgrounds 2 aside from the fact that they probably just want more money because Playgrounds 1, they could have just added all the stuff with the patch, but I want to react to the trailer because I only watched like 10 seconds of it. I was like, no, I have to save it because at some point I'm going to want to make a video and this is going to be a part of it. So here we go. Let me put on the headphones and uh, Playgrounds 2 trailer. It's only one minute. Is that QJB? AD is a beast. We've seen him in the playoffs. So what's new though? New maps? Da 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 da! Double alley oops! Oh, it's looking like uh, NBA Jam. Now, of course, a lot of people's response to this trailer was, God damn it, if we don't get NBA Street back immediately, which is also, by the way, my response. I actually really liked NBA Playgrounds, aside from the fact that at launch it was impossible to make a layup. The game had, not that I won a skills gap in the game, but it was like, it was so random. I couldn't even be like, I couldn't even... Ah, uh, it was just, I, I lost a lot on the game, is what I think I'm trying to say. A lot of people are saying, just bring back NBA Street. Uh, looks cool, but I'll stick with three on three free. Okay, no, that's just odd, okay? F that freestyle genre has not been good since Freestyle 2, which was like in the mid-2000s. NBA Street greater than NBA Playgrounds. What's new? Change to the roster. Sounds like 2K. Bring back NBA Street. It's getting a sequel already. Didn't take that long, which by the way is true. It's been like... It's been exactly a year. So, uh, I don't, I'm probably gonna end up buying it. I'll see how it is. Uh, we'll test it out. I'll probably upload a video or two on the channel myself. And on the final story of the day, guys, it's a tragedy. Okay, somebody made like a beautiful ass track and they were rapping and I listened to like half of it and I thought to myself, yo, I'm gonna wanna put this in my video. And it was about me, Agent Zero Rap. And I forgot what it was titled or what it was called, but I was trying to search for it for like a whole hour and it disappeared because I really wanted to react to it in one of my videos. I don't know where it went, but the guy who made it, can you resend it to me on Twitter? It would take me forever. Actually, I don't even think it lets you go down that far in your Twitter mentions, okay? So, but you need to resend it to me. I want to add it in a video because not, it wasn't no amateur YouTube rapper, all right? This was, and it was, he actually had flow. Like, and yo, he was gassing me up. But I was, the first half of the video, I was so hyped. I'm like, yo, I really do be shooting like that in 2K. Anyway. That's it for this video, man. If you guys enjoy it, man, you know, I've been having a blast just being weird all day today. 
Uh, drop a like on the video, subscribe. Yo, I dropped, we have a podcast and it's doing better than ever. Numbers are increasing, bro. Really appreciate the support. If you're new and you don't listen to the podcast, me and Low Talk NBA, straight. We're like very, we say some crazy from time to time. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, Off Top Podcast. It can be found on all the major platforms. And on that note, I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace.